How's it going, guys? It's me, Sandwich. Man, the audio. <laughs> it's really dark. There we go. How's it going, guys? It's me, Sandwich. Welcome to this random video. Um, uh, you may. I don't know if you saw the description for my last episode of my Let's Play Smash Bros. Ultimate gameplay where I cleared Classic with Bayonetta. I said that I'm going to be taking a break from the series because I don't know if I said that I would be doing Inkling, really Simon Richter, K. Rule, Isabel, and Cinerar this week, but I just thought I'm going to be taking a break from it for a while because. Everything needs to break. So, this is, let's just talk about how, like, just this video. Um, so, this is just, like, my way of celebrating 20 years of Kingdom Hearts. And to celebrate, I decided I'm just going to be doing a prediction for all the kingdoms I'll be representing within Kingdom Hearts 4. Because why not do it? So, uh, for a story or a plot, I honestly don't know or don't care what's going to happen. Like, pre I'm pretty sure Donald and Goofy are going to look for... For Sora, and then they'll try to stop the Heartless from taking over the worlds. Because in Kingdom Hearts 3, they feel like they're just there, especially in Frozen. We'll get to that later. And so I was thinking the Heartless could try to consume the world again like they did in the first two games. Which I think they did that, but correct me if I'm wrong. So these are just some Kingdom predictions. And again, I do apologize that this looks really cheap. Mostly because I'm recording with a tablet. I can't. I can't do anything, right? Um... Let's just start with the prediction. So, so for new kingdoms, like before I mention the new ones, I do think we'll get one returning kingdom. Um, but before I mention that, I might as well just talk about summons. Like, I think they have summons in the game like they did with Ariel in Kingdom Hearts 3. So let's think in Kingdom Hearts 4, they could do that with Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean and Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. I'm really bad at that thing. Yang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd agree. My scene sucks. So, well, that solo is really loud. Sorry. Um, now I'll mention the new kingdoms. So I was thinking for returning kingdoms, since Frozen was kind of like the Frozen world was obviously the worst world within Kingdom Hearts three, because Sora and Donald Goofy didn't really interact with the characters that much, and it felt like they were just there. And so I was thinking they could go back to to Arendelle and fix Frozen. Like, they could go back to the Frozen world, Arendelle, in Kingdom Hearts 4, just to make up for last time. Because it wasn't really good in Kingdom Hearts 4, so I think they should fix it and bring it back to make it up for it. And so it, it would have the plot of Frozen 2. And so, like, I was thinking it could start off with Donald, Goofy, and Sora all, like, seeing Arendelle, like, getting shaken up and seeing people run. Here, that or it could start with them seeing a bunch of people... Uh, just standing, evacuated from Arendelle, like at the beginning of Frozen 2. And then Sora, Don, and Goofy all meet Anna and Elsa, Kristoff and Olaf again. And they ask what happened, and Elsa explained what she did. And then the rock trolls, as I call them. I don't know what they are. I don't watch Frozen. They're the guys who are like, are like the grass trolls that raise Kristoff or something. Like, they uh, talk to... They, they basically just tell them to go stop them, the, like, stopping the mentors or something. I don't, I never watched Frozen 2. It's, I only know some of it because of watching a review from Nostalgia Critic. It's close to I'll get to watching the movie. And then, it, instead of, like, uh, the, the main leader, I forgot his name. I'm really sorry, because this is unscripted. Like, he tells Sora, instead of Anna, like... Tells Sora to keep them safe and actually use the Keyblade to, um, to protect them. And he knows about the Keyblade. I was thinking he could know about it. And then I was thinking the Elementals could act, or whatever they are, the Force, the Enchanted Force. I don't, I never watched Frozen 2. Um, so like those, uh, like the Fire, Air, and all, all the other Elemental things. I never watched Frozen 2. I said that three times already. I never watched Frozen 2. Four times. Um, so, like, I was thinking Anna and Elsa, Kristoff, and Olaf could all actually meet Larkseen this time because they never met Mar Larkseen because they were just, because Sardon, and Goofy, and Larkseen were all just there. So I was thinking uh, they could actually meet Larkseen for the first time ever. And and then Larkseen would be the one who controlled all the elemental things. And and then Sardon, and Goofy actually teamed up with Anna and Elsa, Kristoff, and Olaf to, to stop Larkseen from like, taking the, those elemental things and using them for darkness. And then at the end, Kristoff Kri proposes to Anna, and Sora, Don, Goofy, and, and Elsa are all at the wedding. Same goes with Olaf. 
And that's it for returning kingdoms. For mini kingdoms, like we have Winnie the Pooh again. I wouldn't be surprised if we get Winnie the Pooh back. I want at least one kingdom to come back in every game. And I was thinking there could be two other mini worlds like like they did with Ratatouille in Kingdom Hearts 3. Like I was thinking uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck could actually be into the music industry which would lead to um, him um, meeting Joe Gardner from Soul. Thinking Jamie Foxx could reprise his role. And then Sardon Goofy actually rescue him from Heartless and such. And and they thank him by actually just having him learn music. Like, it's kind of like what they did with Ratatouille. I think that was pretty fun, Kingdom Hearts 3. I never played it. I said I was going to upload gameplay of me playing the Kingdom Hearts game on the channel on the Nintendo Switch. But I saw how bad they run. So, they run like this. They run like that. So, I was thinking we could get a, a mini world, like, Soul, just as, like, a, a world that's just there, like, a mini world, like, with the Ratatouille. And maybe they could do the same with, with Finding Nemo. Um, I hope they can get Ellen DeGeneres to come back as Dory, because usually when they can't get her, they get Jennifer Hale, but I, I love both of them, so I still want Ellen DeGeneres to voice her, because she was the first voice actress for Dory, so. So, yeah, maybe Finding Nemo and Soul could be mini worlds. Now, for new worlds... Um, I know there. I could probably think of Wreck-It Ralph, but I think we, they should save that for a different Kingdom Hearts game. So, so for New Worlds, I was thinking they can get Mary Poppins, because I'm surprised they never got Mary Poppins in yet. Because it is a Disney World, right? Because if it is, then they should definitely bring that to uh, Kingdom Hearts 4. And by the way, I should point this out, including the Mini Worlds and something else that I'll mention later. Uh, there are, I'm thinking there will be 13 worlds within each game. If you get the reference. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I was thinking, uh, for other new kingdoms, we could get, um, Pocahontas. Because I'm surprised we haven't gotten Pocahontas yet. And, uh, I think my, my sister loves Pocahontas, so that would be really nice to get her in. With, like, her world. And I should probably mention the plots. I already mentioned Frozen 2 and Winnie the Pooh. Like, maybe Sora could just be there. And Finding Nemo of... Sora and Gobi could probably rescue them finding, or they could probably rescue Nemo and Dory from Heartless, and they'll probably rescue Joe Garner from Heartless and and um, help Scourge McDuck with the music industry, like with Soul. Mary Poppins, I don't know. Maybe like Mary Poppins could be like suffering through darkness, and then she would have to be rescued by Sora and Goofy, like they help travel the minds within Mary Poppins to rescue her soul from darkness. And then Pocahontas, they could probably just have the plot be from the first game. Uh, next up, I was thinking they can get The Incredibles in. The Incredibles is such... It, it would be really nice to see them in Kingdom Hearts 4. And it could be, probably be like Monsters, Inc. and Big Hero 6 in Kingdom Hearts 3, where it's like the aftermath. Like, maybe it could be like after The Incredibles 2, actually. And they team up with Mr. Incredible to, to take down the Heartless. And, the, and maybe... Uh, I don't know what else could happen. Like, I'll just let it be, like, taking place after The Incredibles 2. Hope to get Frozen in, though, in there. Where's my super suit? Anyway, for next kingdom, I was thinking... There's three more movies, kingdoms, I'm thinking. Uh, Moana, Coco, and Enchanto. We'll talk about Moana first. So with Moana, maybe they could just have it j just be the plot from the film. Either that, or it could just be, like... Like... Oh. Like, the aftermath of their world, like, what they did with with Big Hero 6 and Monsters and Kingdom Hearts 3, and, like, I'm predicting for The Incredibles. So, I'm thinking Moana could be, like, an aftermath. Like, Maui and Moana see that the forest, like, the, all the, like, the, you know, the grass thing, that big grass lady. I never watched the, I mean, I did watch it, but I forgot everything from the film. I did not do any research, so I do apologize. Need to have some water, and people were said that they were surprised that Moana didn't get represented in Kingdom Hearts three, but I wasn't surprised because it was too new. So that's why I was thinking it would, could be saved for Kingdom Hearts four. So I'm so Moana has to one hundred percent be in Kingdom Hearts four. I'm certain that it will get in that game. And next up's Coco. It could probably be like the plot of the film Coco. Oh wait, with Moana it could just be the aftermath. 
with uh, Moana. Oh, I already mentioned Moana. With Coco, it could just be like the plot of the film. And Sar and Donald Goofy are there and they help. Um, they just help the kid. I don't remember anything from the Disney films. Especially with this next one, Enchanto. I never watched the film. I'm thinking it could just be like an aftermath of Enchanto. I have no idea because I never watched the film. But, I don't know. I, again, I don't know. So, let's just say that it's probably going to be part of really after the film or it takes place during the film. But who knows? Uh, there are three more kingdoms I want to mention that are special. Before I mention those, I was thinking they could add Disney shows to as kingdoms. Like, they added Pixar Kingdoms to Kingdom Hearts 3, and now I was thinking they can add Disney shows to Kingdom Hearts 4. And I had two in, in mind, being um, Phineas and Ferb and Gravity Falls. Phineas and Ferb, I saw this animation where um, where Sarah Dawn goes there with Perry the Platypus, and they see Dr. Doof and Smurts. Dude, I don't know how to... I'm just going to call him Dr. Doof. Like, he made a Heartlessinator, and now... And then the Heartless ended up, instead of attacking... Like, uh, Sword on Goofy, the end of attacking Dr. Doof. Corporated. I can't. Every time you think of the building, you hear the theme. Be honest. Um, so, and, he, like, the heartless Heartlessinator can turn people into Heartless. It's, it would be pretty crazy, but I think it, would, it could work. And the other one is Gravity Falls. So, Gravity Falls, it could probably just have, uh, Bill. Yeah, the... The triangle guy with the one eye, Bill. Like, he teams up with the Heartless to take over Gravity Falls into, and turn into Weird McGinnon. And Sora, Don, Goofy team up with Dipper and Mabel to take down the take down, take down the Heartless or the Nobody or Unversed. It could be any of those, actually. Maybe they could fight Unversed in... Like, which ones are, like, the... I think the the Nobodies are other buddies? I don't, I don't know Kingdom Hearts lore that much. But I think they can get, they could have like Unverse and and uh, nobody's being a different worlds, like in one one for each, for one specific world and one for their, for one other specific world. I don't. I never got into Kingdom Hearts lore. And now that I mentioned the the shelves, I had three special kingdoms in mind. I was thinking each console uh, each console can get an exclusive kingdom, which in each each console. Like, the Xbox could probably get Star Wars as an exclusive. I don't know what the plot would be. It would just be Star Wars. And I was thinking the PlayStation could get Marvel. And the plot could just basically be the plot of the Avengers film. Like, the first one in, from 2012. I hope they bring back all the original cats from the film. If they don't, I already know who their replacements are going to be for Black Widow and Thor. And Hulk. Yeah. Um, back to what I was saying, um, the other Spanish Kingdom, if they get to run the Nintendo Switch, there's no way it's gonna run into Nintendo Switch, cause, have you seen how the other Kingdom Hearts games run on the Switch? Why couldn't they couldn't just port them, did, or physically, like they did with The Witcher 3? If that can run, how come Kingdom Hearts can't run? Because of, yeah, we all know why it can't run on the Switch. That's why they're, they're like a cloud only. But obviously, it's seven. Look at me. Um, I don't know what else I can mention them. If it does run on Nintendo Switch, I was thinking they can get Mario in Kingdom Hearts Four, like the Mario World. Like, like I was thinking, Sora Don Goofy could just travel to the Mario World just this because they sense Heartless there, and then one heart, and then they are about to face Heartless, and then Mario comes in and saves them, which has Mario turn around, and Sora and Mario shake hands again, and they actually do remember each other and. Don Goofy meet Mario for the first time, and Sora introduces them to him, and they could probably mention, like, Mar Mario says to them, you look like Duck Hunt, or something like that, or you two remind me of Duck Hunt, I wasn't trying to do a Mario impression, and then they can also meet Luigi, Peach, Daisy, Yoshi for the first time, and, and they could probably mention some other characters, like, Sora could probably say, I met this girl named Pyra who reminded me of Kairi, and she could transform into her nobody whenever she wanted to. And then Mario could say, Sora, Pyra and Mithra are not nobodies. <laughs> like, if I mentioned that. And then Sora could probably mention, said that, in the, like, uh, he met Mario through the Smash tournament and saw Clown Suther out there. 
Like I like I wouldn't be surprised if they mentioned that. Like as Sora and Don, as Don and Goofy meet Mario. So yeah. So as Mario introduces like he So like a Smash tournament. I'm off script right now because I don't have a script with me, so I com got completely lost of what I was talking about. Like, Sarah could probably talk to them about the fire sagging met that reminded him of his other friends. Like, with Lucina and Aqua, Cromantera, Corrin Riku, Robin Zion, Roy Axel, or Lee, and Daisy Kyrie. Or actually, Pirate Kyrie, right? Right? Mmm. Ugh. And, uh, and then they could probably, and then Mario will probably face off Bowser, who teams up with the Heartless, and then uh, maybe one of the members of Organization Thirteen can give Bowser power and transforms into Giga Bowser, and then Giga Bowser would face off against Sardon, Goofy, and Mario, and Luigi too, if you if they have him in. And that's pretty much it for my Kingdom predictions. Again, they are Frozen Two, Winnie the Pooh, Finding Nemo, Soul. Mary Poppins, Pocahontas, The Incredibles, Phineas and Ferb, Gravity Falls, Moana, Coco, Enchanto, Star Wars, Marvel, and Mario. Again, my predictions are definitely not going to be right. I'm not going to be 100% right. And I know what you guys are going to say in the comments like how about my predictions and how it won't work. It's okay. You don't have to like tell me how it won't work. I know why some of these won't work. Like I know why Mario probably won't work. Because of copyright reasons. But then again, Disney was nice enough to say yes to Sora and Smash. So, Nintendo should pay them back by adding Mario to Kingdom Hearts 4. As a Nintendo Switch exclusive. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Sorry that this video was cheap. Um, and sorry if I sounded off script. Mostly because I had no script. Mm. Good water. And, um, again, I'll get back to my let's play series soon uh, but right now i just want to like think of what else i could think of about like i already mentioned all the kingdoms that i want to see and their plots hey you already know what they are so you can if you don't know which one i'm thinking of just go back to the video again sorry that this is cheap and that it looks bad mostly because a tablet camera all right, thank you for guys for watching. I'm gonna go. Happy 20th anniversary to Kingdom Hearts in Japan. In the U.S., it will be in September. Uh, oh right, uh, there's one more thing I should mention. Um, uh, there, like with the um, Goofy, who'll still be voiced by Bill Farmer, but but they'll have to get a new Japanese voice actor for Goofy because the Japanese voice actor for Gooey, oh, Gooey, for Goofy is no longer with us. So to the person who voices Gooey. Uh, why do I keep saying Gooey? The person who voiced Gooey in... I said it again! So the person who voiced Goofy in Kingdom Hearts as a Japanese voice actor, rest in peace to him. Rest in peace to the Japanese voice of Goofy. I almost said Gooey again. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys for watching. Happy 20th anniversary to Kingdom Hearts in Japan. And I'll see you guys uh, at some point. Until next time, stay fresh! Or something. Happy 20th anniversary, Kingdom Hearts. Stay fresh.